you can see the windrow here. We've got kind of one and a half left to go. And I think the tether's going all right. It's nice that I can straddle a windrow and not drive over it. We cut this hay this morning, and it's probably about uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, somewhere along like that. Might be 3 o'clock now. And there's a breeze. And uh, get this hay turned over. This is my first pass. It's definitely setting up on the stubble. And uh, right here is what I just turned. So the green side is definitely up, and that's definitely moist. The hook times are not a gimmick. They do grab the hay and pick it up. I'm not like throwing the hay like 10 feet over the back of the tether. I don't feel like I need to do that. I feel like all I need to do is just move the hay around. I just need to stir it around, get the bottom uh, turned up on the top. And I think that, you know, when I walk through here and I see this clearly green hay, uh, it's doing just that. So I finished Ted and Hay and I pulled up here in the yard to kind of take a look see. There's where my tines are at. So they're not exactly touching the ground. It's probably an inch from the actual ground. And I think it did a pretty good job picking up the hay. Those are the hook tines everybody talks about.